Hello, my name is Slane Steven, and welcome to today's video. Now, today I wanted to talk about the 2020 RMR stickers and their investment potential. Now, sticker capsules are usually the go-to for many investors. However, I feel that that is really affecting these sticker capsules and their overall potential. First, what are the 2020 RMR sticker capsules? In 2020, Valve introduced the RMR or Regional Major Rankings System to lead in to the Rio Major of 2020. Now, for reasons that we're all aware of, but YouTube doesn't like us mentioning, uh, the Rio Major obviously didn't happen. So there was obviously no major, no major stickers. So what does Valve decide to do? Because that is a huge source of revenue, not only for Valve, but for these teams as the teams receive a portion of the income from the sticker sales. Well, they introduce stickers with the rankings based off of the end of the year of 2020 RMRs. So you've got your legends, you've got your contenders, and you've got your challengers, so just like any other year. So these stickers are the only sticker capsules for the teams that we got in 2020. That's essentially a quick little what are these stickers. Next, I wanted to discuss why I think these could be a good investment. So, sticker capsules, like I said, are always a good investment. They always are seen as a good investment, I should say. One of the things that I think that looks very good for these capsules is the fact that the stickers within are probably some of the best stickers we have ever gotten for teams. In my opinion, they're the best since Katowice 2014. Now, that being said, they are they don't really scrape amazingly because the little 2020 in the crown are always available, but team stickers are the stickers most used in crafts, so they're always in high demand because people want to represent their teams, or at least I believe they're the most used in crafts. Someone can fact check me on that down below. So with these kind of stickers being in demand due to how well they look, the stickers themselves should be a good investment, especially foils and golds, and probably also hollows if you wanted a lower entry point. Paper stickers, they might go up with time as they get used in crafts more frequently, but due to the fact that they're so common, you probably won't see much of a return, if any, anytime soon especially if the next stickers are just as appealing. Now, thirdly, I'd like to discuss the downsides for these sticker capsules. So, as I stated before, investors usually go for sticker capsules with majors. Now, obviously, instead of a major, we've got the 2020 RMR, but for all intents and purposes, these stickers are our 2020 major stickers. Well, because they'll be heavily invested in, I think you'll still see a return. Don't get me wrong. I don't think after they go off sale, you know, they'll stay at a dollar and you'll see no invest like no return ever, period. But I do think due to the number that are going to exist, because these stickers are so highly sought after, you won't have as high of a price ceiling that these could reach. So if you're going for a specific amount on return, like overall for your investment, it's going to require more capital and a higher starting principal in this investment as you're going to have, because each one individually is going to do less work essentially. So you need more of them to reach that certain point. Now, if you're just wanting to, you know, Buy a bunch of them, hold on to them, see you know how high you think they can get, and ride it until you hit think it's at a point uh, you're going you feel comfortable letting go. That's also perfectly fine, but I do think people need to be aware with just how much these stickers are being invested in. The ceiling is not as high as other sticker capsules we've once had. With all that being said. I do think the positives outweigh the negatives because you will still see a return, in my personal opinion, 
over time because these sticker capsules are going to be used up and these stickers do look amazing inside of it, especially um, things like the Tyloo. The Tyloo looks amazing. The gold stickers, gold team stickers, this is the first gold stickers we have for teams outside of already pre-applied to souvenirs. So that factor weighs in favor of them being good. However, with it also being the only capsule from 2020, you've got a lot of investors with a lot of capital. They probably saved up for that major investment that they just probably held on to. Or they're planning on selling off another investment to get the capital to invest in these individual stickers or the sticker capsules. But speaking of individual stickers, I do think there might be higher potential on specifically investing in already open stickers instead of the capsules, because while the capsules will have a lower entry point than many golds will, there are tons of golds out there right now, like the 100 Thieves. Uh, last I checked was only about $15. Now, the golds are going to be rare, and while 100 Thieves is no longer in the CSGO scene, it definitely seems like Nadeshot wants to get back into it. He's tried twice, and I don't think he's not going to try a third time, especially with his CDL team doing as successful, and more importantly, his Valorant team doing so successful, a game that is very similar to Counter-Strike. I believe that if 100 Thieves gets back in, especially if like they get back in before the next major, or probably just after the next major, when the next sticker capsules won't have 100 Thieves stickers in them, they get back into the scene, 100 Thieves skins, or stickers, will start being bought up again, and those will be used in crafts, and the golds especially will be being used. Now that's all a hypothetical based off of one team, I can't say for sure on any of that. However, I do think that there is more potential in some of the individual stickers, especially the golds, really specifically the golds and the foils, that might actually outweigh your potential from investing in the sticker capsules. Now, I could be completely wrong, and the Challenger's sticker capsule, for instance, right now is currently selling for a dollar. All of them are. And so when the, the sticker capsules go off sale, they could go up. They could go up to five, six, seven dollars each. I don't know. Do I think they're going to reach those highs? Probably not. As most sticker capsules have not been receiving the return on investment of previous sticker capsules because so many people are investing in them. Now, is it a bad place to invest your money? No. But with them probably set to end soon, already being on the market for about a month, they could be leaving the store very soon. So if you do want to invest in it, now might not be a bad time to go ahead and invest in them as Valve, while Valve hasn't come out and said anything, many of us in the community think that there is not going to be a sale on these stickers because they're already cheaper than team stickers usually are. So I don't think we're going to see a sale at all. But with all of these other factors leading into the... Uh, investment potential of these stickers it might not be a bad idea to look at investing elsewhere the clutch case for instance is currently selling for 18 cents on the steam market as of this recording the clutch case is the only case so far with the gen 2 gloves now when the next case goes out the clutch case is set to move from the prime drop pool to the non-prime drop pool increasing its rarity and increasing the price of the case that's another potential investment Another investment that could go just as well as any of these sticker capsules is investing in the current operation. I do have a video on the works on what items uh, I specifically think are going to have great investment potential from the operation uh, and expect to see that soon, probably the week after this one comes out. But due to these other factors, am I going to invest in the RMR 2020 sticker capsules? Yes. Am I going to invest a large sum of capital? Probably not. Just because I think there are better investments out there currently 
due to these factors we've already mentioned, I still think it's going to be a good investment. But I don't think it's going to be as good as previous sticker capsules have been. If you get a $50 Steam gift card for your birthday and you want to buy 50 capsules, stick them in a storage unit and see how they do. By all means, do it. I do think these things have good potential and could give you a great return, but I do think expectations on this capsule need to be limited and not expect a Katowice 2014 price for them. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I've been Slay and Steven. Be sure to subscribe for more content on everything from more investments to top 10 videos. What are your thoughts on the sticker capsules? Be sure to let me know down below with any questions or comments you have. Please like the video if you liked it, disliked it if you hated it. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you soon.